Hi guys. Okay, so I want to update you on the breast cancer stuff. So I filmed this video yesterday and I'm going to upload it today at the exact time that I'm scheduled to have my surgery, which is 7.30 in the morning. I got to be the first one for surgery. Woot woot. Joking aside. Um, I wanted to film this video because I think I want to capture like the raw emotion of it and oh god I don't want to cry again um because I want to capture the actual like the feelings that you go through that you can't really describe like after the fact and I want to describe it like now for anybody that's actually going through breast cancer or they have their like dates set for like breast cancer surgery and stuff like that because it's been quite um it's overwhelming for a start um because today i actually had to have my injection um that is like a radioactive injection and it goes to my lymph nodes and um because like when he's doing the surgery he's going to be taking the breast cancer out of the left breast that it's residing in right now it's four centimeters and it's, it's, it's like a ball, like four centimetres. Um, and also he, he's going to be taking out some lymph nodes because apparently 98% um, of the time the cancer will spread to the lymph nodes. And um, if, like the, the injection that I've had today, um, it does something to send out now whether it dies it I can't remember do you know you go to these like appointments and you get told things and then it goes through one ear and out the other like you get told something and then you get locked in onto something else because if this injection doesn't work they're going to be injecting some sort of blue dye into me in order to um see if them lymph nodes have been in infected or not and apparently if that happens my skin is going to literally turn blue which everybody's finding quite funny and they reckon I should take a picture of it because it's going to make my skin blue, it's going to make everything like blue. Um, maybe I should take a picture just in case if I do go blue. So apparently if I wake up blue that's what's happening is I had to do with that injection. Um, but yeah my raw feelings of it, it's just like you feel, feel really nervous and the reason why I'm nervous is that I don't want to be in any pain after the fact. And that's what's making me feel nervous. You know what? I'm not even crying. I'm I'm doing quite well. Um, uh, that's that's the one thing that's really worrying me because I don't want to be in pain. But they are going to give me a lot of medication after the fact, and also they're going to give me some um, a prescription for some painkillers as well. So um, I want to film this video today just to give an update on how I'm feeling. I don't know how many times I have to say that. <laughs> um but yeah incredibly nervous um i'm I'm sure he's gonna do an, an amazing job i had um a couple of nurses today when i told them what my surgeon's name was they were there like oh if i had so and so like i would totally be so happy with that because he's such a good surgeon not not to say that there's like terrible surgeons and like whatever but i don't know he's, he's got some he's got good reviews <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna when you're watching this i'm gonna be having my surgery guys um and then i'm gonna update you after the fact on like how i felt after the fact because i feel as though it's good for other people to like who's going through this to um watch and i'm such a wuss hey i'm such a wuss i hate needles and I told the nurse today that I hate needles and this other nurse came in and she she hates needles too and then she was like how, how old is she how old is she and then she's she told her my age and she was there like oh it doesn't go away then that feeling of like being scared of needles so um <clears throat> she came in and she chatted with me so while the guy was because they numbed my left, left breast and then they did this injection with this radioactive stuff and like I didn't feel anything because me and this girl were like laughing about being so scared of needles. Yeah. She was extreme though. Like she actually fainted and the um called an ambulance because she'd fainted. <laughs> Bless her. Anyway, so think of me. I'm currently having my surgery right now. Oh dear. 
I'll see you on the other side. Bye, guys.